Decatur, Alabama is a city and a community well known for its unquestioned willingness to become involved and work together in partnerships with end results that set a high standard for community development. Now this is a partnership between the Downtown Redevelopment and BP and the BP Foundation. Recently, one such partnership became a successful example of what can be accomplished when you bring together the best of those talents and ideals. It is a project guided by the Decatur Downtown Redevelopment Authority that involves the design of what is to be known as the Decatur Gateway Pedestrian Bridge. We're really excited about this. This is the way that we can actually start bringing engineering and science and technology and math and tie it from the classroom to what really happens in industry. Hello, my name is Ms. Doran. I've been teaching at Austin High School for 14 years. We have a new program called Project Lead the Way. It is a pre-engineering program that allows students to have hands-on projects where they learn the science, technology, engineering, and math principles that will help them in any field of engineering or architecture. I'm in civil engineering and architecture. What I use with the, the skills I learned in that class, I built a pedestrian bridge. All I had was this 2D paper showing the 2D version of the bridge, and I turned it into the 3D version you see here in uh, Solid Edge ST5. And what happens after you click print, the Catalyst software sends the 3D model to the printer. And as you can see, the bridge is in queue, and then you'll see the print head start to calibrate as soon as the temperature warms up. The last step is to put the bridge in the chemical bath where it dissolves the support material. And rinse the chemicals off, and you're left with a nice ABS plastic bridge. This is just a great opportunity for our kids to see real world application to their academics. And so now when they go back to school and they're looking at an academic problem, they have a place to go as a reference point to what, uh, what's going to happen. We're trying to find a lot of ways that we can interest these young people early in things that are going on here and, and hope that they'll elect to come back to Decatur to make that their home. But what is more exciting about this is, of course, the student learning is paramount, but the engagement of the community with our students and with the school system, the hours that these professionals have given to come into the classroom, the way that they have taken the students in, taken them under their wing, and given them the opportunity to learn from the best. This is a great partnership between the Decatur City Schools, between BP, and between our local engineering companies here in Decatur. It's a great example of how we as a community can work together to make sure our kids get exposed to the opportunities out there in this world. One of the major components of the Decatur Downtown Redevelopment Authority strategic plan is to design and develop the Gateway Pedestrian Bridge. That bridge is critical in that it will tie the riverfront down here across Highway 20 to the downtown. Located on the north side of US Highway 20, there is riverfront residential property in the form of individual homes, apartments, condos, and three significant assisted living facilities. There are also several businesses and a public park. On the south side of the highway is a large historic district of residences and primarily on Bank Street, numerous businesses. Bank Street connects via a short stretch on Lee Street to 2nd Avenue, which is the other portion of the downtown business area. At this time, pedestrian access between the downtown area and the riverfront is difficult at best due to limited signal crossings and heavy traffic. This project would allow easy and safe access between these two areas. Both areas have much to offer in the way of shopping, dining, 
entertainment, churches, and general community activities. Along with the practical aspects of a pedestrian bridge, this project would aesthetically enhance the community as an iconic gateway into the city, and more importantly, would have tremendous impact on the quality of life and the livability of the area. Hey, Scott. Hey, Rick. Great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Is this our awaited, long-awaited plans, I hope? Our final plans. Great. These plans represent more than just the paper that we're talking about, what they're printed on and all. They represent our abilities to go to the next step. First, we have to okay everything through Alta. These plans will let us do that. We're gonna work through the process of coming with the funding to construct this project. But even more so, what's more importantly represented in these plans, all the work you guys did as engineers with the school system. Austin High School has extended their engineering program to a much higher level through the efforts of this. It has brought the community together on a major project. So we wouldn't be here with any of this had it not been for BP's foundation has done for this. So we have to be thankful for all of that. We're at that stage. It's culminated in this. Now we get to move forward. Very good. Fundamentally, it is a monument that binds and commemorates the city of Decatur with the heritage of its birth on the banks of the Tennessee River.